great pleasure in making sure any athlete that I train is in the best shape they can be in for the contest they're preparing for. Uh, we actually been training about four and a half months um, out in Santa Clarita at the athletic club out here. Gunther's um, coming on way. And we first had to find out that the body parts were lagging. of that uh, muscle. So we caught it in time, so his body started back responding. Well, Chad Manley talks to Gunther. I tell Gunther, and Gunther reported to Chad, and Chad tells him, we get back together, and then we try to correct it and go from there. I mean, I work out here at Goals, and also work in Santa Korea with him, so Chad can get a hold of him right away, where me, maybe a day or two before I can get back to him, <laughs> see? So it works out better that way. Week now, low carbs kicks my ass right now. It's only three more days, huh? Can handle it. I actually for a while already. Kind of like you know the whole diet is already pretty low the last couple of weeks actually. How, how low? Like how low? No, no, not zero, but uh, kind of at the edge that you don't lose size, really, but you're right there. You can see if you go a little, push over a little bit much, a little bit more than you used to do, you can kind of see the energy runs out like that. I mean, you know, after a couple of pushes, you are done. Um, and now I feel really kind of like, you know, wiped out and that this is like the last couple of weeks are uh, actually it's every workout for me like that, you know, uh, can hardly do a push up after the workouts. But, um, hey, you know what, I think that's, that's how you have to train and, you know, to see, see changes and really kind of do intense workout instead of like doing half workouts and maybe do a second body part on a day, what I usually did, but, uh, with Charles, it's actually different, uh, he gets me all the times at five, and after that I need to rest for a whole day. That's, that's only a, uh, after that what I can do, you know, uh, after the workouts, yeah. One week, man, one week to go, and we know more. Ready? Let's go, man. Here we go. <laughs> Mr. O, right here. Come on, come on, come on. Bring it up. Uh, kind of like, uh, but it, it automatically came to, um, I, I sit with Charles together and I say, hey, what do you think? And 
he says, you know, what what is the reason for working out of twice? You know, it seems like the first workout it's not really like a hundred percent. That means, you know, it kind of like save all the time a little energy to do the second workout in the evening. Maybe like if you do back in the evening, you do bicep. Uh, he kind of like showed me a workout. Um, I even can't do anything afterwards. I mean, I really go have to go home. I actually sometimes have a hard time to drive home because I'm always getting tired and fall asleep in the car. And uh, I arrive after the workout, make sure I get quick as possible home, get my food, and I get a kind of a little rest, you know, and go to bed. That's Charles' confusing principle. You never know what he does next, and he wipes me out.
One more. That's good. Um, I'm actually a uh, funny thing is uh, I when I started out to live here in this country in America uh, five years ago five and a half years ago um, I co competed at 260 to 65 um, so now I'm actually today like you see actually I even had a little water but I'm right now around uh, uh, 300 to 303 pounds um, and I definitely think I will compete around uh, 300 uh, after coming up and also you know getting the water out and stuff like that uh, the weight will be definitely around 300 um, so that means since I'm here I gained like 40 pounds um, 
the last first two years I could gain like up to 280. I you know learned a lot from the magazines here, reading the magazines, what uh, diets do the American bodybuilders. They are so successful for many, many years in the pro business. So I learned a little bit from that, but after a while I kind of like got stuck again and uh, I said, okay, now you have to work with some people, you know, maybe they have it, they see you differently because it's hard to judge for yourself or judge yourself. And uh, I think other people can give you sometimes a better and, uh, you know, better opinion and better advice. So I actually started to at first to work out with Chad and he kind of brought me up. I gained uh, quite a few pounds. I was in off season up to 334 pounds. So uh, four, four months ago I hooked up with Charles uh, because even Chad said, uh, he's, uh, you know, if you need good workouts, he's, uh, he's a man to train with. And, uh, then I kind of like kept it that way that I used the chat uh, for um, the nutrition part and uh, things like that. And he kind of like, you know, you know, kind of managed my nutrition schedule for the Olympia and Charles uh, does my workout schedule, you know. And it, uh, you know, what you have both the best, you know, of the best. And uh, I think that makes a big difference. You know, I know actually, in, even in Germany, I heard a lot about uh, Charles already that he trains all the, you know, flex wheeler. You know, for me, when I started out as a pro, he was already like, oh, that's a man coming up. And I know you hear about Charles, he's training him. He trained Chris Kumia and uh, all the big names in the sport. So uh, sooner or later, I thought, oh, maybe I have to hook up one day with him too. And that's what I did this year, yeah. <laughs> Um, I feel very, very good. Um, you know, of course, you know, if you ask me, you know, how does a diet feel right now, I say, okay, I have right now I feel good, but afterwards, if I get to rest a little bit, I feel sluggish and I feel wiped out. But it's part of the diet. The thing is, um, I feel from the looks and the changes I made, I feel incredible. Uh, and like I said, uh, I mentioned once in an interview, um, definitely want to, you know, stand to next to uh, Ronnie Coleman and. Uh, see how I look next to him and I definitely uh, think I can be part of the top 10 uh, this year there's no question about that and uh, just would like to get a comparison with Ronnie how that looks I mean you know Ronnie off his uh, height he's uh, probably the biggest human being right now in the bodybuilding scene but um, I just want to see myself next with my height and my weight next to him you know uh, how much do I need to get him <laughs>